Pisces, well, it seems this month that a seed of thought has been planted in your mind by the cosmos. And this thought is definitely, so it would seem, worth exploring. Because for some of you, some of these downloads or ideas or streams of thought that are coming into you through the cosmos seem to be worth examining. Because for some of you, some of these great new ideas like flashes of lightning in your mind could lead you towards some new successful path on a journey that somehow makes you feel happier on the inside, maybe doing something very radical and very different, maybe something that you've probably never thought of doing before. So why is all of that happening? Well, my love, let's get to it. Let's get shuffling the cards. And in the meantime, we'll talk about the energies while we wait on all the right ones to come along. So we begin the month with energy in, as a few cards fall out, Taurus. We've the sun there. We've also Mercury in there. Uranus is in there, in the third house. And there's a feeling here of, you're, you're sharing something similar, not quite the same, but similar to Gemini, interestingly enough. A Gemini card came out there. In that, both you and Gemini have this thing where your mind is in two places. Uh, it's like a new idea comes your way and you have to wrestle with that idea. Can I really do that? Is this something I should think more about? Is this something I can pursue further? Is this something I can learn more about? Is there something in this that I need a little bit of private time to go away and explore this idea, explore this thought? A kind of feeling of can I, should I, would I, will I, is it possible? Should I follow this train of thought? that has just sparked into my mind is it worth doing well of course that's only for you to decide but it's definitely the energy of putting this thing like a new idea that you say this could be the one this could be the successful thing this could be the thing that makes my life happier or brings some great next evolution in myself in some way, shape or form. So there's definitely a thought, a seed has been planted and it won't go away. And as I said earlier, what you're sharing with Gemini is that in some cases it's like, why did I have to think of this? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Why did this idea have to come in? Now I can't stop thinking about it. I was much happier maybe going along doing my thing before, but now that I see something, I have to at least give it a lot of time to think about it, consider it and see is this the next step into my destiny. So for sure a new idea coming your way and even for some of you it could be work related. It could mean that you have to get shifting in your work. I have to shift my priorities a bit to give this thought a little bit more focus. Now, for many of you, some of that could be related in a strange way after quarantine and lockdown. Maybe in May that might ease up. I don't know. I'm recording these early in April. But after what's been going on where we've all been stuck at home, there's also this feeling of uh, I'm taking your focus off the worries of travel. Maybe some of you had to cancel travel plans, cancel vacations. Taking your focus off you know, thinking outside, thinking about other people out there and bringing it more home. I've got to focus on things that are more homegrown. Maybe some of you could be focused on starting a business at home or a side business at home, doing something, producing something at home, creating something at home. It's like the, the focus has been shifted away from beyond out there. And, and it's coming home. Now, I'm going to say this because this comes in strong. I get the sense many of you are either not at home, you're in quarantine and not able to go home or visit family. And that's bothering you a lot. That could resolve itself this month around the time of the full moon, May 7th. Now, I'm not going to promise that you can get on a flight and go home, but you might see something rolling. You might see something moving. You might have a successful moment where you say, something is happening here. I can travel. I can move. I can find a, re a resolution to some problem. I've cancelled my vacation plans. I can find a way to get that money back. Now, Mars is moving into Pisces on what date? May 13th. Mars, the fighty one, 
the one who will not back down, the one who's going to win at all costs, is speaking up and saying, I'm not going to lose money, perhaps, on some foreign project, foreign business, long distance. Again, some of you... It could be something to, related to travel or if your work is related to dealing with clients abroad, there's a long distance issue, foreign properties abroad, lovers abroad, family and friends abroad, missing them uh, or them missing you. Again, there's a feeling that somewhere along the line, it, when you, you won't lose if you put a, you won't lose out. So it would seem put a big level of force into not losing money for plane tickets or something like that. But it, what's confusing me here, uh, Pisces, is this thing of, for those of you who are worried about business abroad, bring it home. Be at home and focus on something like a new idea that handles that issue. I hope that makes sense. It's it's like you take your mind off reaching, reaching, reaching out there and bring it home. And in the privacy, there's an idea that happens, that comes along, that helps to fix that issue. Fixing foreign issues, but it's all done from home. I hope that doesn't sound too cryptic. Maybe that will mean something for some of you that came out, that came out that way. Now, other things that are going on. We have the full moon, as I said, May 7th in Scorpio in your ninth house. Now, there is an intense focus, almost like full moon in the ninth house means that uh, something is coming to a head about travel. Something is coming to a head about foreign business, foreign things, foreign issues, not being able to see people from a long distance. Something is going to end there, finalize there. Something will be figured out. But also, there also is an intense focus on transforming your beliefs. Again, like Gemini energy, I think the two of you are sharing something. There's kind of a battle inside you about, well, what do I believe and what don't I believe? What are my beliefs? What, I can, what can I put my faith in? What, can, what gives me the feeling of happiness and joy in my life? What can I believe in that gives me that? And can I stand by that? So your beliefs are transforming somewhat. But you are also finding some great love, comfort and grounding perhaps in transforming your beliefs in some way. So there could be something quite deep about that. I do sense that many of you are going back either to read something that is transformational, to, that's spiritual, maybe holy literature uh, or some other literature that is quite spiritual in some way that gives you a great sense of peace and comfort. So that could be something worth doing. You're also very attracted to higher minded things. Yeah, higher minded things. It's like the, what I feel is that these great ideas are coming in almost like a download and you're attracting them to you. But you, you need to go away in privacy to examine them, to deal with them, to tease them out, to explore them. OK, uh, learning about cultures from the comfort of your home, learning a new language, uh, studying something, or even for some of you, I'm going to really put it out there, some of you are probably even thinking about teaching from home or studying from home, maybe even setting up an internet business, a website from home where you can teach something or you can say, this is what I've done. I've planted a garden. I've dug up my lawn in the time of quarantine and lockdown and I've planted a garden. And here's my blog on how I've done this. So using, it's almost like an idea of why don't you share something private about yourself and blog about it, vlog about it, teach it, share it. That could be something that's happening for many of you. And there is a bit of a wrestle moment there because some of you are saying, are people going to be interested in this? Or the other side is, I like my privacy. Is that something I want to do? Share something. But it's almost like sharing something private. Now, you don't have to do TMI. It doesn't have to be too much information. You don't have to go over the top here. You don't have to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets. But it could be something like, you know, you, I have a great skill. I know how to 
speak a language, for example. So why don't I set up a blog or a YouTube channel about teaching people how to speak my language or teaching people a, a skill or an art that I've learned over the years? Look, I may as well give it a try. I could maybe even generate money from doing this. So many of you are feeling an idea has come your way that's very, very homegrown that you could make money and maybe even success from. So there's a lot going on here, Pisces. <laughs> a lot of creativity. But it's done from the privacy of your own home. That's what I keep feeling. Great ideas, mind-blowing ideas, life-changing ideas, but happening from the comfort of your own home. So that could be a great thing. Some of you are really enjoying teaching uh, younger family members, your children, grandchildren, or whoever it is, maybe through the internet, you know, or staying in touch with children through the internet. There's something, there's a, there's a lot of happiness with kids, teaching them, playing with them, sharing something with them, having fun with them, maybe done through social media or technology. I do get the sense that some of you are really missing younger family members, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, you know, or, or family, friends, the children there's something about missing children but we can use technology to stay in touch and hopefully maybe as I said I'm recording these at the start of April there, there could be something where we have a moment to reconnect really with the younger members of our family but there is a desire to create from home create something homegrown something nourishing and healing at home a lot of you wanting to spend money on things at home maybe on a home business uh, maybe wanting to decorate your home. I see a lot of you wanting to take a risk on changing something up in your home, spending money on electronics in your home, maybe something quite expensive, actually. When the energy moves into the fourth house, it could be like expensive cooking equipment, uh, expensive ovens, fridge freezers or things like that, or even security systems, technology. You're saying, after this quarantine and lockdown, I'm definitely getting high-speed internet, or I'm definitely getting my electronics or communications or all things comfortable in my house up to high quality you know so there's something to do with that now other things that could be happening things like home insurance or property tax could be rearing its head this month venus is retrograding in the fourth house and she said maybe it is time to to go back and spend a bit of money on your home maybe repairing those things within your home putting in things like insulation security systems you know things like that upgrading your home in some way and spending some money to do that so as i said home insurance property tax uh car tax and insurance is also another thing that be could be coming up for you so it's probably worth going through your documents you might forget that it's time to renew certain taxes car home things like that so there are all the things that are kind of coming up insurances some of you are afraid travel insurance Maybe wanting to recoup travel insurance or the cost of travel that you couldn't do. Business insurance, things like that, all coming up for the grabs here, Pisces. But the energy is very, very good. I've got to say that. Look as this beautiful card hops out. There's a new pathway coming your direction, a new idea, something that you can take from the spiritual plane and manifest into reality, as you probably saw in one of the videos we did there last month. You know, there's a new way to do something and there's a gift coming your way. Definitely something can be manifested in your life. It comes out of a download, a great spiritual flash, an idea. I can do this. I can set this up. I can start this. And I, can, I know it will be the right thing to do. I know I'll have some level of success doing it. Uh, and I know I can manifest it. And I know this is probably even part of something that carries me into my future. So a bunch of cards tumbled out there. We'll take the first ones that arrived out there. Yes, this one, this one, and the last card, this one. So we've all the cards we need here, Pisces. Anything else I didn't touch upon in the energies before I look down here? I know when, when it comes to relationships, there's definitely a deep, deep, deep desire to get very strongly connected with your partner for those of you in a relationship and if you're on the kind of if you're searching for love this month it's the same thing 
it's like I want to be able to talk to this person, my partner or future partner or somebody that I'm connecting with this month. It's got to be all about deep and interesting conversations. We've got to be allowed to be really super curious with each other, both sexually, physically, um, intellectually, but to talk about very, very interesting subjects. That's what I want. Uh, I won't do superficial relationships anymore. I'm not going to do that. There's also this thing happening in regards to relationships. A an understanding, a change in your understanding about what it is to have a peaceful and happy relationship could be coming in too. Yeah, for, for those of you in a relationship, I sense that some of you are not willing to hide something about your relationship anymore. You know, like maybe behind closed doors, there's a lot of tension in the relationship. But when you're out there meeting and greeting friends, family, colleagues or whatever, it's like you're able to put on a great show. Something is happening this month where you're saying, I'm not hiding this from the outside world anymore. Something has to change. I want to talk about this. For some of you, it could be, I want to talk about the fact that me and my partner aren't getting on great as we should be. Maybe we should start talking to a mediator or a therapist or a counselor. Uh, we can't keep this thing our little secret anymore. We've got to heal this and transform this and, and bring it out somewhat to be healed. So there's a lot of energy going on there, especially with the sun moving from the third house to the fourth house, uh, a need to heal something and talk about something uh, and to dig very deep into it. Uh, yeah, so a lot of relationships are transforming in that way. Um, I am not going to pretend that this is okay anymore. Uh, I'm not going to hide the fact that you're gambling or drinking or yeah, something or we're not going to hide it from the family anymore that your business isn't doing as well. We, we've got to share something here. And again, even the singles are going through this transformation. It's We've got to acknowledge and understand what it is to have a healthy and wholesome relationship in some way. And Sure, we will have private things in relationships, but detrimental secret things, no, we've got to transform them and change them. And again, that's all very, very super positive. I said with Mars moving into from Aquarius to Pisces, there's a bit of a fight on not to lose money or not to lose something valuable, and you can do it. A lot of energy going in maybe at home in privacy to doing things like martial arts or getting your body fit and moving. You're saying, I don't want to be stagnant here. I, I, I can get moving even in the privacy of my own home. But there is still that thing of a little bit of spiritual trouble over a financial issue. And I do believe that can be resolved. And that's why I'm saying pay attention to some of these downloads here, Pisces. Because if you have a bit of spiritual trouble over the will I, won't I, will I, won't I, can I, can't I over a financial issue or even a, an issue about speaking up about something or telling your side of a story about something, then that can be resolved. Pay attention to what what you're being told by spirit this month. So that was a long introduction, I know. But finally, finally, let's go over to your big grand. Ta-da! Your overview. So we open up with this. The conflict, the will I, won't I. The kind of a bit of spiritual trouble about trying to balance either an, a financial issue, definitely. Uh, definitely trying to balance a financial issue. For me, it's like two things. Firstly, I'm finding it very difficult to communicate with somebody to get my money back. I'm finding it difficult to communicate with foreign clients. I'm finding it difficult to keep everything juggled, to keep everything moving. I'm finding it difficult to catch hold of somebody to get money back, to catch hold of something. But that will resolve itself, Pisces. But the other thing I feel here. Can I actually start here putting a huge level of force into expanding a, an idea that I'm afraid to communicate that could make me money? Could I actually have a success from going back and re retrieving an idea 
that could make money for me? Why am I so afraid of making that happen? Why am I so afraid of communicating that? Why am I so afraid of implementing that? Why am I so afraid of turning a brilliant new idea into a business for some of you? Why am I so afraid of pushing ahead maybe with a new line of work because I feel the way my old line of work has been going that it's probably not going to satisfy me in the future. It's probably not a great idea to be stuck in this job in five years time. So yeah, maybe there is a new download. Why am I so resistant in paying attention to this idea, this downloaded idea? Why don't I just go with it? Why, why am I wrestling with it so much? Yeah. So there's a few things going on. Wrestling over a financial issue. But you are being given these new ideas. Huge energy going into Gemini this month. This is a Gemini card in your fourth house. The sun will move in there. Mercury will rule in there. This is a very mercurial card. Venus is retrograding there. The new moon is going to be there. And also the north node of destiny is moving into Gemini, into this fourth house. Home, family, business, homegrown business, taking care of your security and your long-range security, taking care of your family in the long run. So there's a new idea that you could get to work on, get to work doing. Even for some of you, it's like working on reshaping or rebuilding a contract that you have with somebody else because you want to shape it up in a new way to rebuild it. There's definitely a new idea that you can get working on, but there's a resistance. I think after lockdown, quarantine, a lot of people are getting this Pisces, but you're getting it very, very strong. After quarantine, lockdown and the whole thing, you're saying, but why can't I work from home? Or why can't I do this thing? That's a very natural thing to do. That's a very, um, I'm very skilled at this. Why can't I teach from home, study from home, share this on social media from home? It's a wonderful thing to do. Uh, and as I said, even if it's just, <coughs> excuse me, running as a side business at the moment, start building it. Start building it. There's something even about homeschooling or, or teaching from home. Educating children from home. That could be another thing so, some of you are thinking of getting into. And even if that's not your actual line of work, it's again this thing of, I can teach children how to cook. You know, I can teach family how to save or how to have a budget. You know, I, there's a lot of stuff you know, Pisces. It's like I can teach families how to cook on a budget, how to manage their household budgets. I can teach families how to create a garden in a balcony, <laughs> you know, or it's so... I'm only using that as, as an example. It could be something much greater than that. But there's a feeling of I can teach children, families. I can teach something that's very healthy, perhaps, that I know how to do inside and out. I'm great at managing money. I'm great at health. I'm great at fitness. I'm great at flower arranging. I'm great at teaching pets. I'm great at something. Couldn't I do this? And use the passion I have for this to generate a side income even and then maybe segue over a period of time into this because you've got the south node the thing that's been flushed out of your life in your 10th house of career so there's an aspect to your current career that's being flushed now, I'm not saying your career is going, I'm not saying that, but there's an aspect to it that is going. Like, that's why if you work in the, you know, hospitality industry, hotel industry type of thing, and you saw, oh, you know, this is unpredictable. If another shit thing like this happens again, this isn't going to carry me through next year, next year, next year. There's something I need to do on the side as, as part of my career industry dies. I need to turn it up, turn the flame up on something else. So for me, it's like segue energy. Slowly, slowly, slowly taking this brilliant inspiration you're getting this month and trusting it. 
and not being afraid of it and using it to redirect because the north node of destiny now is shifting into Gemini. Clever ideas, being adaptable. Gemini is very adaptable. Gemini is very relevant. Gemini loves being relevant. Gemini also has a great skill of imitation. It doesn't have to be some great idea that you just come up with. It could be something that you copy an idea. You see somebody in another country maybe doing this and you say, I could do that from here. So it's easier when you can maybe take the skills from another section and say, I can incorporate that or adopt it or reshape it, recreate it and do it in my own way. So it's easier. Put my original stamp on something that already exists. That's very Gemini. It's like taking pieces from here, here, here and there and making something new out of it. So that could be something that's part of your new destiny. Um, but it's, it's, it's relevant for the times. That's always what Gemini will be. Gemini will always be relevant for the current moment. And that seems to be your new path when it comes to a homegrown career or even side hustle. Yeah, so that's very, very interesting. Now, mid-month, we're moving towards the full moon in Scorpio, May 7th in your ninth house. Yeah, I do get the feeling that it's something to do with home, home family. I want to go home. I want this lockdown to end. I want to see my family. I want to go home. I'm tired of this. I wasn't able to move. I wasn't able to go places, go anywhere. Uh, in some cases, I do sense that some of you have lost money in traveling. Uh, you've either bought tickets for family members to travel or you've bought it for you to go to them. And there's a feeling of, am I going to lose this shit? Am I? But you don't have to. Mars the warrior is in there saying you can, if you put a bit of energy in here, you can quickly recoup maybe, most likely, some of what could have been lost with travel. Home issues, home, home, home. This is also the mathematician, the scientist, the, the accountant, the one who's very, very good at turning nothing into something and creating an empire from it. Businesses, the buying and selling of physical and tangible things, and also the buying and selling of homes. Maybe some of you are saying, I need to move home. I can't move home in this quarantine. So there's a, or I, I can't sell my property or my business or my home or my stocks or my shares in this thing. So something positive could start turning around with this new idea beside the manifestation card willing to manifest something for me it's almost like a download from spirit and I wouldn't be surprised really and I'm going to go there for some of you I said this earlier in the introduction you're going back to read some old text spiritual text holy text or going back to read how they did it years ago that how something that used to be very sacred it was a way of the culture. People used to do it this way. And you're going back and revisiting that and maybe tying that in with this new idea that you have and manifesting it. Manifesting it. There is definitely a new idea to make something real and tangible in your life. A new home, a new home business. This is the Cancerian card, home, family, homemade things and selling them on Etsy or online, homemade teaching from home, doing that on one of the social media platforms. But the coin is there and it seems to be part of your new destiny to do this. Some of you are definitely also on the war path and you're about some financial issue and usually this card represents a victory. <laughs> I want that coin, hand it over and they hand it over. Yes, but you have, there's a bit of pushing. And like I said, this card represents you have, to go, you have to go at it to get your money back. But this new brilliant idea, look at these cards. I mean, you have the king and the queen of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. We start with the two and the six of pentacles. Get to work. Get to work on making your money with this new idea and you'll attract it in no time whatsoever. I think you'll even begin to see evidence if you've started this month. 
this thing. Even if you have to plan it small, do a small little test run. I'd go out there and kind of ask people, would this be a good idea? You know, like kind of marketing. Would you like if I did this? Ask your neighbors, ask people on social media. Do you think this would be a good idea? And I think it will be because you seem to be attracting something very positive. You're attracting money this month. You are definitely attracting money. But it's the feeling of I've got to be sharp. I've got to be razor sharp. I've got to cut through. I've got to do something I haven't done before. I've got to have my wits about me. I've got to be very forceful. I've got to put a lot of effort into this and it will happen. But there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, and again, this thing of wrestling, am I doing the right thing? Does this make sense? Will people acknowledge what I'm doing? What if I open a YouTube channel and I'm a brilliant, um, I don't know, I'm a brilliant dancer and I teach people all these great dance moves. I do online dance classes. What if I do that? People are going to think I'm ridiculous. They won't, they won't know my skill. How am I going to convey this skill? How am I going to convey this talent? Well, there's so much energy between the third house and the 11th house aid this month that lets you go back and have a bit of a rethink about this. You know, if I think about this, if I really put a solid idea on this, I can figure out how to share this idea that makes sense to people. I can break it down in such a way that I begin at the basics, make it relevant to people. I've got all this knowledge. I'm a master at dance or ballet. Or again, only using that as an example. But I have to begin at the beginning. I have to teach them how to stand. I have to teach them how to point their toe. I have to teach them how to stretch a muscle. I can't teach them how to, you know, do a full kind of ballet, you know, dance the nutcracker all at once. I can't do that. I will bring it down to basics. I will break it up into bite-sized pieces. I will make it relevant to people. I will give them piece by piece the instructions that are easy to follow. That's how I do it. That's how they will recognize what I'm doing. I will make it simple, I will make it clear, and I won't confuse it by trying to overwhelm whelm them with knowledge. So I know that's very specific. We're talking about a side business, a side hustle, jet going somewhere, maybe using the internet or some form of new technology, new skill, new art, new way of communicating with people, maybe even if it's only within your local community. But it's like you're beginning to recognize that really some part of your business is phasing out your career, your line of work. And it would be to your advantage now to start opening up something new, as I said earlier, so you can segue easily without feeling any of the pain or the hurt of that. You know, I just keep feeling it. So many of you depending on the tourism industry, travel industry, so many of you depending on foreign clients or having a long reach. And that's just not going to be the way it's happening for you anymore, my love. And that's why I need you to get smart and get clever and start moving towards your destiny, which is something more homegrown, homemade, that you have a passion and a desire for, that, that you feel like you can share with a family. Even if you're sharing on a YouTube channel, Instagram page, there's a feeling of, this is me and my family. You know, I'm sharing this with people that I love, something I love with people that I love. And that that is the new way it seems for you to do things. And it seems to be bringing you a lot of happiness over the, the next period of time if you follow that. And don't panic if you're saying, I haven't a clue how to use social media. Like I get it, I have a Facebook account. I don't know how to turn that shit into a business. Well, with all the energy here, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini energy, which is about learning, studying and getting relevant. You can do this. You can get up to speed in no time. It just takes a bit of heart, effort, soul, will and determination. And I just feel that it's something that you most probably should begin considering as of now. 
and it will benefit you and your family, it seems, because all the de destiny energies in your fourth house of home and family. Who knows, maybe this secondary income could help you pay off a home, pay off your mortgage, or allow you to move into a a home that you want to live in or to pay some home expenses or bills so see why it's worth considering so anyway my love we covered a lot there i know there was a lot in that but the energies are shifting and i want to get kind of at least covering a lot of the subjects that are going on but by no means have we covered it all you know where to come by now my love to get into the real details where we'll give all these specific areas of your life great focus your relationship the singles love where's that at right now career money big one this month home big 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 family and friends and everything else that we don't talk about here we're giving it that big big focus on Vimeo on the deep read how do you get to it same place as usual Pisces you go down there click open the description box you'll see a link for Pisces deep read Vimeo click into it come on over and I'll meet you over there my love and we'll get stuck in but if we are going to leave it at that uh, I'm going to wish you a wonderful May get busy Get busy learning, get busy trying, get busy becoming relevant and breaking it up into small pieces. And I will leave you, my love, with, with all of that. And of course, I will leave you with all my love, my gorgeous. And a great, great, great big kiss from me to you. Mwah. Until next month, my beautiful. Bye.